Hey friends, it's Julia at the blog farmhouseharvest.net. Hey, today I'm just showing you how to make a very simple, very delicious roast beef. You can make this with any roast, beef roast that you'd like to. I don't recommend a chuck roast with that just because it's so fatty that you kind of cook those a little differently. And today I am using a tri-tip roast, showing you how to make this really good herbed with thyme, rosemary, salt, pepper, garlic, herbed paste that we rub the whole roast with. And then I have my little roasting pan rigged up with a rack inside to hold it off of the bottom so it's not cooking in its juices. So I am just peeling and crushing three cloves of garlic. You can also chop them up really finely or crush them and chop them with your knife if you don't have a garlic crusher. Putting that into my pedestal, I will also be adding one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper, and three tablespoons of avocado oil or your favorite oil. You could also use olive oil in something like this. And then I am adding two tablespoons about of chopped fresh rosemary and you just pull that the little petals off the stems and give them a good chop. I would chop those as fine as you can and then put them into your pedestal. Give them a good crush in there with the salt and the pepper. And then you are going to add about two tablespoons of fresh thyme. And the same as rosemary, you just pull those little leaves off of the stems and they're a lot smaller than the rosemary, so you will give them a chop with your knife, but they're pretty small already, so it's not as much work to chop those with your knife. I really love the smell and the flavor of these two herbs together, especially with the garlic and the salt and the pepper. It just makes the most lovely aroma and flavor that will fill your entire home while it's cooking and it's just a beautiful flavor. I am going to take this paste, which is beautiful, and I am going to rub it all over my tri-tip roast. Um, like I said, you can use any roast that you like to with this recipe. I do not recommend the chuck roast just because it's so fatty, but a tri-tip roast is well marbled. It's one of my favorites. It is just got the best flavor and it's very tender. Prime rib would also be delicious here. I am going to put most of this herb paste on the top of my tri-tip so that when it is cooking, it will be dripping juices down into the pan. That would potentially wash away a lot of the flavoring that's on the sides and the bottom of the roast. So I'm gonna keep most of it on top and then um, also I will spread it and rub it all over the bottom of the roast too, but um, just to make sure that we have lots of that deliciousness staying on top of our roast, I am going to put most of it on top. I don't wanna waste any bit of this delicious herb paste. By the time that you're at this point in the recipe, the smell is just so good. You don't wanna let any of that go. So I use every little bit of it on this tri-tip roast and it turned out just delicious. This smells so delicious. If you could smell this. So we're just gonna put that into this roasting pan. Got it seasoned on both sides. This is a tri-tip. You could use a rump roast if you wanted to with this. You could use a prime rib roast, would be delicious. Just making sure I don't lose any of those little seasoning bits. And then I'm going to pour a couple cups of this Homemade broth I have, you can use store-bought, but I had this in my refrigerator. And I'm not gonna pour it on the roast, I'm gonna pour it down on the side of the roast so that I don't pour off any of the seasonings that I 
I'm going to cook it uncovered, and that's because I want the outside to get nice and crusty. I don't want it to, I, I want it to have a nice browned crusty crust, and then of course we'll cook it until it's about 145 degrees inside. I don't like rare, definitely don't like well done either, so I do want to keep it a little bit pink in the middle and cook it about medium. So we'll cook this in the oven, um, and then I will use my meat thermometer to tell me when it's done, and then we'll let it rest. So this roast is 2.87 pounds, basically three pounds, and you wanna roast it at 350 degrees, and for a medium roast, I'm gonna, head, I'm gonna go for about 20 minutes per pound, and then check the internal temperature at that time. Um, it, it differs if you want it, obviously if you want a rare roast, you're gonna cook it a little less per pound, so, and if it's a bigger roast, you're gonna cook it, long, cook it longer. If you want it well done, you're gonna cook it longer per pound. But for a medium roast, I'm going for about 20 minutes per pound, and then I will check the internal temperature. So that's gonna give me about an hour. Probably, I'll probably check the internal temperature after about 50 minutes of roasting time and see where we're at, and then we're gonna let it rest. The exact recipe for this roast beef is on the blog at farmhouseharvest.net and I will link that below. Keep in mind that this is a bigger roast so I actually did make more of the herbal paste to go on this than what I have on the recipe. I, I call for two tablespoons of oil on that one and a little bit less of the about one tablespoon of the herbs each and so I did double that for this so that I could have plenty of it for this big tri-tip roast. By the time I checked this roast after 50 minutes, it was at 140 degrees internal temperature. So it was perfectly medium and delicious. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.